I haven't updated you all on our quest to buy land, mostly because there isn't much to update you all on. <laughs> um, I think Musa and I started looking at properties last year, and then the price of properties just skyrocketed. Some places literally tripled their price. So he and I decided to just hold off and wait and keep saving our money because we are in no rush to buy land. He did mention to me that he used to own land in Georgia and I was in the mood to car camp and I'm currently in Georgia so I decided I wanted to see that land. So I drove my little car home over to his old land and decided to car camp there for a few days and he still knows the owner of the land so it was cool for me to be there in car camp and I ended up having a really good time. The land was beautiful. We actually were considering buying the land again. Well, again for him, the first time for me. So I'm going to take you all with me on this fun car camping trip and I hope you enjoy the video. My camp spot was on a small pathway nestled in between two plots of land. The land you're looking at now is the land that Musa used to own. And then, and then on the other side, there are neighbors. I was tired after the drive there, so I didn't explore that day. I just ate some food that I had purchased from Whole Foods before the trip had some of my chocolate bar and watched a movie and it was really relaxing. See how it looks outside now. After breakfast, I decided to go ahead and explore the land and Musa is actually going to do the voiceover for this part of the video and just tell you about his experience when he owned this land because this was one of his favorite properties that he owned. So I thought it would be nice for him to tell you all about it while I walk through. So I hope you enjoy. So Monique and I decided to pay a visit to this former property of mine. It sits on five acres of wilderness and it's basically a heaven for people like us who love to enjoy nature. 
you can hide away from the world back here. No neighbors, so there's plenty of privacy. And because of that, on more occasions than I can count, I would drive here into the land through this opening then set up a nice campsite for myself right here in this small clearing I put peppermint oil on my neck because I feel like I thought that would tell the mosquitoes. Now, back when all this was mine, this creek flowed copiously. I was collecting wood and cooking on a campfire overnight, then waking up to come bathe right here where Monique is standing. Same very spot. At that time, the water came as high as my knees. So, I'm stooped as to just why the waters have receded so significantly, but with even the most minute amount of water, life still manages to find its way. In the end, whether it was the detailed stories of my one-man adventures here, the sensual appeal of the wilderness on the human spirit, maybe all the healthy yogurt money Kay eating for lunch this day was making her a little giddy, but it seemed she was beginning to build a deep emotional connection to the land. And then this happened. Ow! So after running from the ferocious butterfly, <laughs> I made it to the safety of my car home and just hung out in the back and enjoyed the view and the peace and quiet. I was really happy that Musa was able to record a quick little voiceover for this part of the video. I hope you enjoyed hearing from him for the first time and hearing about his experience when he owned this land. After that, I made some kimchi soup, one of my favorite soups ever, and I just ate that with a little leftover rice I had from a Thai restaurant I went to, watched a little cartoons, and just relaxed at the end of the night. I spent the rest of the night just staring at the trees and enjoying the sounds of nature. It was my last night there before I had to go back to the city, so I really just wanted to enjoy the peace and quiet. And that's it. That was my weekend camping at Musa's old land and checking it out. I think I mentioned earlier that he and I were seriously considering buying it from the owner, but he said that back when he owned the land, it was a lot more rural. rural. I can never say that word. <laughs> rural. And 
these days a lot more people have moved over in that area so it's not as private as we'd like even though it's beautiful so ultimately we decided to just hold off on buying it and we're just going to take our time and look at more places so yeah here i am driving back to the city and i will leave you here and just let you enjoy the beautiful trees while i drive and i will see you in the next video bye It's gonna be alright, yeah, yeah, how can you tell, yeah, yeah, I feel it in my heart, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be okay, yeah, yeah, the sun is shining bright, unto another day, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. Hey, hey, hey. If at first you don't.